Hello there. What's going on, everyone? We've got ourselves a Separatist Squadron pack. The Armada Blitz is still going on, and it's super exciting because we are almost out of articles before this stuff hits. Next week, this stuff is going live December 4th. It's very, very exciting, and we get our Separatist Fighter Packs. Um, also, that giveaway is still going on right now for that uh, that uh, Amazon gift card, that $25 Amazon gift card. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment. You're automatically entered to win that, plus the 12 Days of Life Day. Those giveaways, same deal, just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment. Um, so in this pack, you're going to be getting two of each of the different squadrons. You're going to be getting the minis there unpainted. This is really the only squadrons are the, really the only part of Armada that is unpainted. So if you guys are new to Armada, all the ships are going to be pre-painted, but the squadrons are unpainted. We're also going to be having once this comes out, I'm going to be launching a painting contest in my Discord. I want to see all of your paint jobs. This can be your all your Clone Wars uh, uh, paint jobs. I'll have a special channel for you to put your screenshots up there. The winner is going to get a custom title in Discord. You're going to have your own special color. Uh, if you're not familiar with my Discord, it's uh, going to be linked down in the description below. And uh, yeah, we, we, I don't do a whole lot of custom titles for folks, and a lot of people are asking, oh, can I get a custom color, a custom title? No, no, I'm going to make people earn those through painting contests and maybe some other contests in the future too, like custom cards and, and things like that. I'm trying to uh, you know come up with more ideas for that. So um, anyway... Let's go ahead and talk about what we see in this preview today. Uh, so the Vulture Class Droid Fighter Squadron, this is our 8-point, our Swarm ship. This is going to be a movement of 4, 3 hull, very similar to a TIE Fighter. Uh, we have uh, 1 black and 1 blue, so a little bit less dice there. And uh, 1 red, though, for anti-ship, so you got a higher ceiling on that. It does have Swarm, which gives you the reroll, And you have AI Anti-Squadron 1, so if you're activated by a Squadron Command, you're going to be able to add an extra die, so you can make that a blue and 2 black, plus a reroll. You can probably get more damage than a TIE Fighter this way. Seems like a pretty decent ship. Um, DFS 311 is going to be a named version that we get. Uh, he's going to have a red attack versus a ship, a red and a black against Squadron, also with Swarm, Anti-Squadron 1. He gains Intel, which is really important. Now, it's interesting seeing Intel. Intel has been nerfed, as we know. Intel is now just giving friendly squadrons grit. Uh, so, you know, you, you basically... You, so you guys might be able to fly away with Intel, but if they commit and put multiple squadrons out there, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, but he has, but it's interesting seeing Intel show up on an ace with uh, defense tokens because that's one of the rules changes in Armada 1.5 or Clone Wars Armada moving forward uh, is that we uh, we were limited now to four aces that happen to ha or four unique squadrons that have defense tokens or we call those aces usually but uh, it's more of a slang term because there do exist unique squadrons that do not have defense tokens but they're pretty rare. All right. Uh, while you are defending, there's also an ability. If the attack is obstructed, you may force the attacker to reroll one die of your choice, which is, or you're already, they're already losing a die because of the obstruction, and now you're making them reroll an extra die. This kind of reminds me of like he is really good at hiding in asteroid fields, or maybe he's got those landing struts, and he can really brace on board an asteroid, and he's he's harder. For your opponent to hit so I like I like that it seems kind of thematic you know the the vulture droids can kind of land and kind of you know walk on things this is also reflected a little bit differently in uh, X-Wing as well so that's a that's a pretty interesting squadron uh, we've got our hyena class droid bombers and the basic bomber here is gonna come in at 11 points uh, a little a little more expensive than the Y-Wing. I think the Y-Wing is only 10, right? So it's uh, you know a little bit more. Only two anti-ship die that are blue. Or I'm sorry, two anti-squadron die that are blue. A red anti-squadron die for uh, for ships. I'm sorry, and red anti-ship die. Uh, and uh, there or a ship battery and uh, four speed and four hull. So not super tanky uh, either. Um, and, and, and the art here is interesting. That's, I, I, I get that those are AAT tanks down below, but from a certain point of view, <laughs> which is a great Star Wars term, uh, it almost looks like those are the uh, the exogorths, kind of like four exogorths down on the planet below, like coming out to like eat ships and stuff like that. Um, but the, uh, the basic bomber has AI Battery 1. Now, we've already seen AI uh, Anti-Squadron. The AI Battery is basically the same thing. If you're activated by a ship... Uh, by a squadron command, your your anti ship attack is going to get let you add an extra die that's already in your pool. So 
basically your bombers can roll two red, which is not half bad considering you've got bomber. You know, you have a, I mean, you can, you can sealing out at four damage, but uh, getting one or two or even three is not that unlikely. So uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. They are also heavy, which you would kind of expect, even though they're probably not as heavy as some other ships. I think for balance purposes, you still had to make them heavy. Um, you get a named Bactoid prototype here uh, that's going to gain the brace and the uh, uh, the scatter. Uh, while attacking a ship, if another friendly squadron with bomber, so you're going you're to have bombers together, is at distance one of the defender, you can change one of your dice, uh, maybe change one die to a face with an accuracy icon. Now this obviously does nothing if you don't activate it with a squadron command. Right? We, we don't really know if there's anything out there elsewise that's going to give you um, additional squadron dice when attacking a ship. As it stands right now, the only thing that we know of is that AI Battery 1 is the only way that this could possibly be useful. So if you activate this ship via a squadron command, there's another bomber like right next to him, basically. Uh, you can roll two red dice. One of them will be able to become an accuracy. This is just a kind of a... Uh, kind of uh, ability. It's it's it's. I see it really as only being useful if you're... Roll a, if you happen to roll that red double. Uh, we don't even know if there's anything that these separatists can use to give them uh, reroll. Like, I don't know if they can take Bomber Command Center. First off, we haven't seen the hard cell transport preview yet. So, while I am going to guess there's a way for a hard cell to get fleet support, we don't know for sure that that even exists for separatists yet. Additionally, um, we don't know if Bomber Command Center is going to in the reprinted version if that's going to be restricted to empire and rebels only right so i think that it you'll probably be able to run bomber command and so that's going to help you potentially get extra um you know extra stuff and you know extra re-rolls and because they don't have swarm so you know if you don't naturally roll the double you'll have a harder time really making good use of this ability but also it's not a super expensive ability too because you're already getting a bomber ace with scatter for only 16 points so that's kind of something you have to take into consideration. It's 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 not bad. It's a situationally useful ability if you're trying to tr stop a brace. Because a lot of times I'd rather just have three. Because then I'd rather you use the brace. Right? I'd rather you spend the brace and exhaust, you know, one of your choices. Um, but that's kind of... I mean, I mean, I guess there's also the option that you're attacking somebody at close range now and they're going to uh, maybe spend an evade. Since now we know that evade can actually work at close range to cause you to re-roll something, I guess there's that option as well. We get another named bomber, uh, a little more expensive here, 17 points up from 16. Uh, this is DBS 404. I like the 404 error, you know. Uh, while attacking, if you are touching the defender, you may suffer a damage to add one die to your attack pool of a color that is already in your attack pool. So here is a way that you can actually now get three red dice. Um, now this, you, may, you can do this, this, this could be for attacking either a squadron or a ship, but I don't really think I want to do this against a squadron very much, because then I'm just rolling three blue dice with nothing to support it. This is, like, you really want to be using this against a ship, uh, also when you are activated via, with, with, a, uh, with, a, with a squadron command. So now, you can roll three red dice against a ship. This can be amazing. This, I, I think this is the most damage possible that a squadron can inflict on a ship out of just out of natural damage outside of like fancy critical effects because i think luke can potentially there there exists like a use case for luke skywalker to possibly do uh you know insanity damage if he pulls the right crit or something like that and you've got you know dadana and you know whatever but but uh but dbs 404 hero my favorite my favorite squadron so far uh out of the separatists because of that high ceiling i'm all about those high ceilings um we get a look at tri fighters, which are kind of going to be the uh, the A wing uh, equivalent, is sort of kind of maybe or tie interceptor kind of sort of depending on how you want to look. They're going to fill that kind of that speedy counter role uh, at speed five and hull three. They are going to be fragile and fast. Uh, they have a black die for anti ship, which is nice. It's fairly reliable. So if they do take out all of your uh, enemy squadrons, they can have a fairly good chance of getting some damage on ships. Um, for squadrons, they're going to roll two blue and a red which 
isn't half bad, especially if you consider AI anti-squadron you've got in there, so you can still roll four. Uh, they do have counter two, so they'll roll two blue, blue, blue dice back at whoever's attacking them, and they have swarm, so they're going to get those re-rolls. And of course, swarm and counter do work together if you bunched up together and you're countering, you can get a re-roll from swarm from that attack as well. They're going to come in at 11 points, which is not half bad. Uh, we have DIS T81 as our named first named ace to take a look at for these guys. He's going to have rainbow anti-squadron dice, uh, which is a red, blue, and a black. He also has a black against the ship. Um, his, his ability here is quite simple. Your attacks cannot be obstructed. So this guy is all about hiding in the obstacles, much like well, the uh, earlier hyena that we saw. Um, and so he can shoot. It'll be obstructed. Attacks back at him will be obstructed. So he wants to hide on an asteroid and then be protected uh, based on what that asteroid is protecting him with. So this guy is really cool. Very, very fun. I like that. So he's basically like the Jaina's Light of the, the squadron. This is a title for the Rebels. But um, he's got AI Anti-Squadron 1. He also has Counter 2. He has Snipe 3, which is especially cool because now... You know, in addition to hiding on a rock, if you don't want to do that, you can also just be out of range and and throw some blue, three blue dice at somebody at uh, distance two, uh, which is also pretty cool. That also gets you, um, you know, gets you out of counter range and things like that, which is fun. And of course, swarm. Really nice set of abilities there. Like seeing a lot of cool stuff used together in interesting ways. At 17 points too, that's not even that bad. This is a really great ace. Um, we've got the Flak Arfrock. Prototypes? Um, fuck, not... Whatever. I, you know, it's not a dirty word. It just sounds like it. Uh, <laughs> um, it's uh, it is a 19-point ace. Uh, still rainbow against squadrons. And uh, a brace and a scatter as well uh, for this particular named ace. And we're getting at uh, the ability here is after an enemy squadron ends its activation at distance one, that squadron suffers a damage. You're like the reverse Mauler Methyl and I love it. I love it. Come to me. I'm hitting you right away. It's, but they have to end their activation, not just their movement. So if they move in and kill you, then you don't get to do it, right? So that's kind of what they want to do. They're not gonna. It's they're gonna have a hard time doing that when you've got a scatter. He also has counter swarm and AI anti squadron. And then rounding out our list, our, our S, well, not, I say kind of like our escorts, although it's not escort. It's kind of, uh, I, I always thought this would have been like, we actually, we, none of these guys have escort, do they? Nope. We don't have any escorts here, huh? I thought for sure that the Bella Belub was going to have escort because it's like, it's kind of like the Darth Vader. Uh, you know, if you look at all like the Imperial squadrons, this is kind of like the Darth Vader to, uh, to, to, to the TIE Fighters. You know, it's the Bell Belub 22 Starfighter Squadron. Uh, we're going to take a look at Grievous here in a second, but let's take a look at the basic Bell Belub first. Uh, at only 15 points, it's uh, kind of able to do a lot of damage for 15, which is, I mean, 15 is not necessarily cheap. It's uh, a little expensive for a generic, but uh, you're getting speed 4, you're getting 5 hull, so you're, you're, you're getting a lot of survivability out of this ship. It also has Relay 1, which is uh, nice. You're going to be able to extend your range a little bit uh, while a friendly ship resolves the squadron command if you are in range to be activated one of the squadrons it activates can be at distance one to three of you so again this is like this is like clarification this is like the i think maybe the first printed uh, errata of how relay was changed about a year or two ago and and it's it's just beautiful this is the way relay should have always worked and it's it's great and it has the screen ability. While you're defending each other friendly squadron, the attacker is engaged with that lacks screen up to three, you gain dodge one. Now that might sound like a mouthful, right? It, it boils like this. You want to run this guy not with other Bellabalubs. You don't want to run multiple Bellabalubs together. You want to run this guy and two vulture droids or something like that, or up to three. So let's just say you run this guy and three vulture droids. And you're flying together, and you actually are all able to, you know, be swarmed up. Uh, enemy, enemy comes in, attacks this Bell up. He happens to also be engaged with all of your other vulture droids because you're all close together. Well, since that, let's just say uh, Luke Skywalker in an X-wing is attacking a Bell up. Boom, boom, boom! I rolled four blue dice. I got three hits. Okay, nice. Now you gain dodge one for up to three 
uh, these. So you're actually going to gain dodge three. And that means you can now, and, and dodge is a keyword that's already on other squadrons, it lets you re-roll, it lets you force your attacker to re-roll one die. So now you can uh, force your attacker to re-roll three dice. So you can say to Luke, no, 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 I want you to re-roll all three of those hits. Uh, and, and, and dodge, I think, is going to be more important in the Clone Wars wave because we're seeing a lot more squadrons with red anti-squadron dice. So the chance of one of those reds being a double is significant. So dodge is going to be uh, really useful to have in cases like that. Uh, and also dodge is not a defense token. It's just an ability. So even an accuracy can't stop the dodge keyword. And that's kind of, I think, an important thing. Um, so screen, that's basically how screen works. Now, if you had three bellable ups together, somebody came in and attacked it, you'd get zero instances of it because that you have to have other squadrons near you that are non-screen squadrons to work. Okay, Hopefully that explains it. And the idea is General Grievous is, is flying one of these. He has the same screen ability. He doesn't, you know, he wants people to take the fight for him. He's like almost the reverse escort. You're, you're, you're going to have a hard time killing him unless you kill off all of the other little droids first. And that's... That's the idea of Grievous, and and that and that's kind of the idea that went into this Bellable up here. So whoever's flying the generic Bellable up, whether it's Watt Tambor or whoever, um, they uh, they have the same mindset as Grievous. No, kill the droids first. That's the way screen works. All right, so uh, so Grievous is uh, also going to have two blue and two black, uh, and that's another thing about this ship too. It's it's got a good anti squadron amount of dice. Uh, it's it's going to be a, an anti squadron threat for sure. Um, so I like that. Uh, now, General Grievous has uh, the same armament against squadrons, but he actually upgrades to a black die against ships, so he's a little little more threatening against ships. He has Relay 2, so a little better Relay. He's got Double Brace, no, sca uh, no Scatter on Grievous. So that's, that's interesting. Um, with only 5 hull, the two braces will still work, but he is not as, uh, you know, as infinitely survivable. So you may want to keep him kind of near the station. If he does, but he hopefully his dodge abilities will kind of make up for that. Uh, Twenty-two points, so he is not he's not cheap. Uh, but let's look at his this is uh, special ability while attacking a ship or squadron with no readied defense tokens. Each of your crit icons adds one damage to the damage total. This is beautiful. This means each of those black dice can be three damage, so he can roll one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He can naturally roll ten damage against a squadron, or three damage against a ship. Well, no, no, that's not true. He doesn't have bomber. Uh, so I'm sorry. He he can actually naturally roll one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six, six damage against a squadron. I know somebody's already writing in the comments. I'm like, no, your crits don't count. I'm like, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Crits don't count. <laughs> this shows you uh, the hype was just overwhelming me and clouding the brain so yeah if he rolled all doubles then the doubles for blacks is just gonna be two damage so it's one two three four five six potentially against the squadron and and potentially two against the ship which is pretty good and you have a you have a double chance there's you know two of those on the black die a real good chance of getting some damage against a ship from grievous so it's, it's a good solid that's a really good solid always good to have passive ability on grievous um you know you you don't want him attacking too early. He wants to go in when it's easy. He wants to go in when it's safe. And I feel like this is just... like he, He's not leading the charge. Grievous never wants to lead the charge, which is is, is perfectly... like they, they captured him perfectly here. I love this. Uh, very, very cool. I want to hear what you guys think, though. That is what we got for our Separatist Fighter Squadrons preview. Uh, make sure you are, guys are subscribed. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. We've got those giveaways going on. If you want to hop in my Discord, we're going to be doing that painting competition. Links are going to be down below. If you're interested in making some uh, holiday purchases, uh, whether they be shirts like the Chimera shirt I'm wearing today or uh, any of the masks like the uh, Darth Vader mask or, or the or Gator Necks or any of that other stuff, all of that stuff is in the video uh, description, those links to my Teespring store. You can get yourself some double crit merchandise. You can get yourself a, oh, boy, we got Boba Fett merch too. We got new faction stuff. We got new separatists, uh, mass, uh, masks and phone covers, all kinds of cool stuff like that. All of that stuff. You can get it in time to be stocking stuffers for your holiday plans. 
help support the channel as well. So big thanks to everybody who's been doing that. And uh, big thanks to you guys all for watching. Also, big thanks to patrons. Patreon, you guys are absolutely amazing. And I could not do this without you. If you're interested in becoming a patron, be sure to uh, check the video description below. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.